Well, summer's fun, but summer road work sometimes not so much. And here to talk about some of the projects scheduled for the season is Charlie Gishler with the Maryland Department of Transportation. Hey, good morning. Good morning. You have a lot going on right now, specifically 450 in yes. Anne Arundel County, right? Yes, uh, you know, we're replacing some culverts, and that's necessitating the closure of Maryland 450, uh, kind of in the area of Crownsville Road and South Haven Road. So that's shut down all weekend long. We're going to have it open by 5, 5 a.m. tomorrow, Monday morning. And then we're going to come back uh, on the weekend of the 12th and do the same thing and finish up that the major part of that project. So it's a busy area. So we just want to let people know Boy, it it's, sure for, is. It's, it's for the good cause there to uh, get those culverts replaced, get more water moving underneath that roadway there. And you also have another big one going on at Lock Raven Boulevard, the Cromwell Bridge Road area. Yes, yes, that's a huge drainage project and slope repair project. It's, it takes up that entire interchange. Now all the ramp lanes are open this weekend. We did have them shut down from Friday to this morning at mm -hmm. five o'clock, but they're all open. I just went okay. by there in fact, but it's progressing as well but yeah everywhere you go there's going to be road work this is the season what else is happening oh man we have uh the pedonia road bridge over id3 uh or 83 over pedonia mm -hmm. road so uh, there's going to be periodic closures of pedonia road underneath as we d demolish part of that bridge um, and we just we just have road work and maintenance going everywhere, everywhere you look. We're going to talk about what's going on in Harford County in just a moment. But first, you have a really big message for people who are traveling to the Eastern Shore. Queen Anne's County has really yeah. been having a very tough time lately. They have. So basically, people are heading to the shore Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So it's a bit scattered, you know, so it's not total bad gridlock. Uh, but everybody comes home at the same time mm -hmm. on Sunday. So, you know, what they're doing is their navigational devices and their phones and their smart devices are, are putting them off on the Route 18 and Maryland 8. And what that's doing is gridlocking those, those towns down there. Um, we, Route 50 is designed, it's a six lane highway. It's designed for conge congestion like that to handle that kind of traffic. Those smaller roads are just two lanes, mm -hmm. one lane in each direction. They can't handle that. They'll get gridlocked immediately. Uh, and but beyond that, though, the first responders can't go from point A to point B to help people down in those little towns in Queen Anne's County. So we ask people to please stay on Route 50. So what do you think the problem is? Because this didn't I mean, people have always come back from the beach at the same time. Mm -hmm. Is it that more people have these smartphone devices and they're looking for creative ways to get out of traffic? Yeah, uh, the, the smartphone devices are, are just they've really amped up over the years. You know, you've got different services now and they're all competing for, for customers. Mm -hmm. So they're going to get you from point A to point B, they think quicker, but uh, you know, their computers to a point and then it, they don't understand that when you get to those little two lane highways, eventually that's going to really gridlock people. Your best to stay on the higher facility, the bigger facility on Route 50, even though it's going to back up, it's going to move. Once you get past the Bay Bridge, it's usually in good shape all the way up to 97. All right, Harford County, some bridge work going on. Yeah, we had a crash, uh, 161 Darlington Road over Deer Creek uh, over the, the, this past week mm -hmm. and it did some damage to the bridge. Uh, we had to repair some of that parapet wall and some of the, the railing up there. So that's going to be going on. So expect some intermittent closures there as well. All right. And if people want to know what's going on in the area and they want sort of that updated information, where should they go? Uh, you know, you can go to roadstopmaryland.gov. There's two areas in that website, our main website. Uh, there's md511.maryland.gov. That gives you the real time commuter information and then uh, road, road Ready, which is our electronic construction brochure. So it shows you everything that's pretty much in real time, including a traffic map in there that shows you where the congestion is. So we invite you to go there and, you know, have a great weekend. And we're suspending all non-emergency road work uh, starting on the 3rd for people to get to point A to point B for the July 4th holiday. Whew, great idea. Charlie, thanks so much for coming in. Absolutely. <laughs>